Um, Tom, it's good to see you. Um, look, there's some serious matters going on in the world right now, and the club have announced that Roman Abramovich is, is no longer in control of Chelsea. He's, he's passed control to the trustees. Can I ask for your thoughts on that? Same thoughts than uh, at, the, at the day of the final. I think that uh, for me and for, the, the, for me as a, as a coach and in charge of the first team, um, that decision does not change too much in the, in the daily business because I'm in, in a daily exchange with Peter Cech and I'm in a very regular exchange with Marina uh, about how to, how to improve uh, the, the, the first team. And this will not stop because they, they stay in charge. So on a daily basis, it will not change too much for me, I guess. With the current state of international affairs, though, do you think Mr. Abramovich's ownership of Chelsea is a problem? I have to say, I'm a bit like it's a bit too much for me to to answer. I mean, I'm 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 not uh, I'm not aware of any details, and I'm not aware of the the whole situation. And uh, we we all agree that there are situations uh, that are much much more important than, than than football. This this will never change. And situations like 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 war are like <laughs> of course so much more important, but. Uh, the, the role from Mr. Abramovich is not not to me uh, not on me to comment because I simply don't don't know enough about it. Nick Pugh. Hi Thomas. Um, how are you fixed on the injury front um, for, for for Wednesday? And uh, just also, um, how pleasing was it to have not just Reese James back, but seemingly you know like you said beforehand really in the, in good in good form. Yes, brilliant form, but now with a huge overload on his shoulders, the recommendation were, were, were t was 20 minutes before the match and it was like over 70 in a, in a final with extra tension, extra pressure in a final against Liverpool. So the situation was uh, very, very good before the match because we had only, I think, Ben Chilwell out and the situation changed <laughs> almost dramatically from, from this match. We have now a lot of players in overload, physical overload, and uh, we have some injuries from, from the match. It's actually in the moment too much to comment about it. It would be a long list and then we need to see, we need to... We had training today, um, the physios, the doctors are still like working with the players, finding out and we can take the last decisions uh, tomorrow morning when we, when we have the departure to, to, to Luton and, and see who's ready to play because uh, we want to be ready to play but um, yeah, we suffered, it's now a third time we play overtime and it was an intense match and this is where we are. Ian Hi Thomas, how are you? I am good, thanks. Um, you, you've already spoken about the fact that uh, there are more important things going on in the world than, than football right now, but how much of a distraction is all this for you and for your players and for Chelsea Football Club? I think and how can you lift the team after Sunday? But to lift the team after Sunday should not be too hard because um, I... I think that everybody knows that we played a, a very strong match and we played to our characteristic, to our identity. We played with full commitment and, and a lot of quality. So this can then um, a result, you, nev you can never control the result and uh, a winner had to be found and it was found like in after 22 penalties that, that tells more or less the story. So that should not be the problem. It's only two days, we gave a day off to clear our minds because it was not only yeah it was not only a disappointment of course what, what, uh, but it was also physically draining for us physically demanding and uh, that leaves us with a one day turnaround to be ready tomorrow because this is what it is all about it's the next competition and it's the next round this is uh, life at chelsea and uh, we are like uh, we want to be competitive we want to be competitive in different competitions so we have to be ready tomorrow. Is that always easy? Maybe not. Uh, but this is what we do. This is what we demand. Uh, me, myself, uh, and 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 of course from everybody around the team. And and, and uh, last but not least from the players. So um, 
this is this is where we are from the sportive side and and, and the other one i mean you know, you always start the sentence, the question with the same sentence. Yeah, there are, you, you know, we know there are much more important things than football, but like, can you comment? But you decide also to ask me about war and how often do I need to say it? It's horrible. Of course, it's horrible. There cannot be any other, uh, any other opinion about it. Uh, and that's it. But why should we be more distracted than you at work? I mean, it, that's what I meant when I said it in the first place. Of course, it's of course it's out there, and we know there are more important things out there, and it, this will never change. This is about sports, and there there are a lot of more important things out there, and still we have the we we still still there is a huge distraction now going on, and we are worried. But at the end, still, we try to create an atmosphere to come to work and focus on, on our work, which is our passion. So we are very, very, um, very, very grateful and very uh, privileged to have it. And we will and, and it's not that big a problem. But of course, I think that that everybody uh, in, in Europe, more or less, has like um, yeah, has some noise in his head that he that, that nobody likes, and that it's maybe the same for you. If but still, you try to do your job as good as possible, and that's the same for us. Hi, Thomas. Hi. I wonder how worried are you about the future running of Chelsea Football Club, and I wonder what would your message be to the fans at the moment. I'm not so sure if I if I'm the person to give messages to the fans. Uh, anything else but sportive. That 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 we try to be calm here, and and we are calm in the in the center of 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 a, of, of, uh, of 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 a storm or of of some noise around us that we cannot control, and we are also not responsible for it. It's in the in, in the end the best to stay calm and focus on what we love and what we do, and this is sports. And and I think we have a right to focus on sports. I think uh, the players have a right to be focused, um, and um, this is this is what we can tell the fans. And I think this is what the fans saw on Sunday. Um, there was there is a big situation out there, and there is a lot of commitment. Uh, from from the players and from both clubs and from all the fans and I think that everybody is aware that there are more important things and 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 the situation in the Ukraine is f by far much much more important than this game of football and still there was a full stadium and still we arrived with two teams two strong teams who played a fantastic match and this is what we can do to the fans to to distract them, to entertain them, and do what we do with a with a with a maximum effort and the maximum commitment. Because yeah, I I don't see any other solution. How how uh, what we could do different. Dan Salisbury Jones. Hi Thomas. Um, just on uh, how passionately you spoke a moment ago about the, the the horrors of of war. How much do you hope that? The owner is using any no, listen, 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 you have to stop. I'm not a politician. You have to stop. Honestly, I can only repeat it. And I even feel bad to repeat it because I never experienced war. So even to talk about it, I feel bad because I'm very privileged. I sit here in peace and I do my, the best I can. But you have to stop asking me these questions. I have no answers for you. Okay, thanks, Dan. Last two, and on the game, please. Jerry and Nizar. Hi, Thomas. Um, the, the, the Carabao Cup has gone now, yeah. and the Premier League looks out of reach. Is, is the FA Cup your best chance of bringing home one of the domestic trophies? Well, the best chance was on Sunday because we were in a final and it was the clo because it was the closest chance and uh, we should not think about the next final until we, until we played the next match. Because in football there's only one important match and it's the next one. This is how high-level football works for us. And uh, this starts tomorrow evening and we need to be... We have some, some obstacles to overcome and we have some, uh, we have some uh, boxes to tick if we want to win there. And they're, they're, yeah, there's, uh, we, need the right, we need the right motivation, we need, the right, we need again the right attitude, we need full commitment. And uh, yeah, it's it's demanding, and and uh, still we expect it from us. But is it? I don't know. Is it the easiest or the the closest or the most realistic? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what's what, what what's what's going on tomorrow. And and if we want to talk about it, we need to win anyway tomorrow. And this is what we're focusing on. Last question in the broadcast is Arkin Teller. 
Hi Thomas, hope you're well. Um, how's Hakim Ziyech? We expected him on the on the bench at least for the final, and he wasn't there. And um, no. also Mason Mount as well. He's got a lot of criticism for missing those chances. How how has he handled it? And 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 he, does he deserve the blame for that final? <laughs> Nobody deserves the blame for missing a chance. I'm I'm happy I did not read any 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 news about it because I mean like. Uh, I can I can clearly understand that one person uh, did not want to miss the chance the, the very most and this is Mason and you can be also sure about it so um, but this can happen this is uh, this is part of the sports that not every chance is a goal yeah we had huge chances Mason had huge chances to decide the match for us but but he is fine he did a he did a strong match he wasn't in, in these situations he arrived in good timing in uh, in good positions, that's exactly what we wanted, and we missed a bit of luck. Um, Hakim is uh, not available for tomorrow, as he was not available for the final. Unfortunately, it's 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 still he feels still uncomfortable. He was not in team training today. He's one of the guys who will miss the game tomorrow.